Ladies and gentlemen, the Shrek Gaming Citadel video, we have information that the PlayStation 4's clock speed of the AMD Jaguar CPU may not indeed be 1.6 GHz as previously thought, but indeed be running at a substantially faster 1.8 GHz, which actually means it's even slightly faster than that of the Xbox One. Now, these reports are not confirmed yet. I actually have some links to the slides and so on in the article, which is linked in the description, so you can check those out, including images, so you can uh, get an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, but so far, it appears from the teardowns and the evidence that we're seeing that the PlayStation 4's CPU indeed may be running at 1.8 gigahertz. So this is quite interesting for a number of reasons. Now, the AMD Jaguar CPU can indeed run up to 2 gigahertz. We know that for a fact. But the reason it was running at 1.6, or we assume so, was because of comments from previous developers and also because we assume that Sony were concerned about heat and basically power draw. But it's looking like this may not be the case, and it may have been that Sony have just simply said screw it and increased the clock speed. Now remember, as I said earlier, Microsoft have done just that. Uh, Microsoft's uh, CPU was running at 1.75, remember, sorry, 1.6, and remember they are exactly the same CPUs. Um, they were running at 1.6, but then they've actually increased it to 1.75, and so we assumed that the Xbox One had the advantage in terms of raw CPU speed. Now, interestingly, Microsoft have actually stated a couple of times, um, their technical advisors have actually stated a couple of times in interviews, these are the actual designers, designers of the system, that they actually got the biggest frame rate jumps in games, real applications, when they increased the clock speed. And this is even more so than the GPU performance um, improvements they've made, for example, increasing the, the GPU clock speed. Which is interesting, in other words, they're saying that they are basically CPU bound. So the PlayStation 4, we know, is going to be shifting a lot of its stuff on to GP, GPU computing, general purpose processing on the graphics card. And obviously, it does have a fairly advanced um, queue structure for graphics, but, or should I say compute commands on the graphics, but um, obviously, that's still taking away resources at the end of the day. and from you know, graphics and not everything can be shifted onto compute so with this plus as well now evidence that well not even evidence has been confirmed that they are utilizing amd's true audio dsp technology for the sound it looks like what it was previously assumed and known in other words the fact that xbox had a better sound system and it actually had better cpu it looking like this is not indeed the case and it looks like the PlayStation 4 actually has faster CPU. Now once again, this is not confirmed, Sony have not confirmed this and we're getting more information all the time so definitely keep on this one. I haven't got that much more to say yet because I'm going to be doing a teardown on this over the next couple of days when we've got a lot more information no doubt now that it's getting into the hands of the people. Anyway, I hope for, I'm hope i hoping you've enjoyed the video. It's been... Um, kind of a, a bit of a ride, especially since there's so much evidence and contrary rumours and uh, opinions right now that's floating about, but I'm hoping it's true, simply because, well, more power equals good in my honest opinion, but anyway, I guess we'll have to just see. So I'll see you soon, take care, bye for now.